If you want to play Division One basketball, you need to watch this video. Today, I'm going to give you the truth about playing Division One basketball. All right, let's get into it. Today, I want to give you some information I wish I would have had coming out of high school and coming out of junior college that I had no idea about, and that is Division I basketball. Today, I'm going to break it down in layman's terms so you can understand this thing called Division I basketball and how to navigate to make the best decisions in your student athlete career. Now, today, I will not be talking about junior college basketball, nor will I be talking about NAIA basketball because both of them are its own beast. The only reason I'm going to be putting Division III basketball at the bottom of my chart, they do not allow athletic scholarships. Now, high major Division I basketball is referred to the University of North Carolina, the Dukes, the UCLA's, basically the big time schools that you see on TV. Now, these schools, normally they have these kind of players, they have size, strength, speed, and skill set. That's what that's pretty much the determining factor if you go to those schools, if you have those plus a GPA and you're able to you're able to qualify through the clearinghouse. Okay, so Grace as well. Now you see that big space between the high division one basketball and below? You see that big space? That space is division one, mid majors, low majors, and division two. What I found out is Division two players and mid majors and and low mid major division ones are one in the same. And that's not something I I thought about when I was coming up. A lot of us are going for division one schools and we're missing opportunities in division two schools that we can take a part of that can get our scholarships taken care of as well, or we have the opportunity to play and have the opportunity to graduate as well. What I'm telling you is this: do not miss out on opportunities because it's not division one. Because once you realize that there are Division II schools that actually can play at these mid-major and, and low-major Division ones, it will be too late. Now listen, I get it. When I came out of high school, my coach asked me where I wanted to go, and I said University of Kentucky. And the only reason I said that is because that's the schools that I saw on TV, and that's probably your case right now. You think that you're going to this big-time Division I school because those are the only schools you see on TV. Don't get bogged down by just what you see on TV. There are more opportunities out there than what you see on TV. There are more scholarships. There are more opportunities to get your education paid for. There are more opportunities to graduate other than what you see on TV. Now, from the outside looking in, you may think Division I schools have the best crowds, they have the best facilities, and they have the best competition. And I'm telling you, that is not the case. Whether it's the competition, facilities, or crowds, there are Division II programs in this country that have that as well. I don't want you to miss out on these opportunities because it's not Division I. Be focused on if they have your major. Be focused on if you'll be able to play. And be focused on if they have a great campus and city environment. These are the things you need to be focused on. Don't be worried about Division I, Division II, because oftentimes they're interchangeably. Ask any veteran coach in the game, and they'll echo my sentiments, and that is mid-major, low-major, and Division II players are one and the same. I hate to bust anybody's bubble. If you want to go to Division I, then do it. If you have the opportunity, then do it. But let me ask you this. Is it more important to play, or is it more important to just say I was at a Division I school and I sat the bench? These are things you need to be worried about, all right? Now, I'm going to give you this information like I wish I would have had. Keep this information. I hope this helps you out.